my friends welcome back to my channel welcome back to a new video so in today's video i will be showing you how i got this look here this is my everyday makeup routine i love 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 how just soft and feminine this look is and it's something that's light enough to do either a daytime or nighttime look as well you can always switch out the lips switch up the eyes so i really hope you guys enjoy this video everything that i mentioned will be linked below in the description box don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in just a bit okay so first thing i like to do is start with my moisturizer i've been using the eucerin original healing cream now i know this isn't like a typical face moisturizer but my skin has come a long way and with all these acne treatments that i'm doing i just want to make sure my skin is nice and moisturized and this one works really well for me underneath my makeup next i'll be using my sunscreen i've been using this one right here it's the black girl sunscreen in the kids version sp 50. so this is what my skin looks like close being moisturized and sunscreened so moving on to foundation i use this one by the ordinary this is their coverage foundation and i use two different colors this is 2.1 medium and 2.0 light medium they're very liquidy so i give them a good shake and then i take a little bit on the back of my hand not that much and then just a little bit of the light one because i am a little bit tan right now so i don't need as much then i have this brush right here i just take the end and kind of mix them together and then i am using the real technique buffing brush i just get some on here it has been so hot lately, so I try to use as little foundation as possible. I always bring it down to my neck. Now for my problem areas, you can see I have some hyperpigmentation down by my jaw. I'll take a little bit more of that same mixture and then just focus it heavily on there. Next, I'll be doing my concealer. This is just to brighten up my face. Mainly, I've been having issues with my dark circles lately. I get enough sleep. I don't know why. I think it might just be age catching up to me. This is the concealer I use. It's the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm in color medium honey. I like to get a lot of this on there. So I do kind of like the triangle area. And then I like to do a little bit here little on the chin here i put just a dab here but i'm gonna have some excess left over and then i'll just blend that out and i'm taking my real technique sponge it is damp and i'm just going to dab this all in and now you see i put that little bit of concealer there because it just kind of gives you like a lift you see it creates that contour i don't always use my beauty blender damp some days i will use it dry it just kind of depends on what kind of day it is but it blends out pretty flawlessly when it's damp now i want just a little bit more coverage under my eye so i'm going to go in with a second layer Okay, and then whatever's left over on my beauty blender, I'll just put a little bit up top on my eyelid. I try not to put too much because I have, I get a lot of creasing around my eye area. So that's why I just use what's left over. Okay, next I'm going to move on to my contour. I use this one here. It's the NARS bronzer in Laguna. It looks like this. And then I use it with my e.l.f. blush brush. I love this brush. I use it for both my contour, my eyes, it just works perfectly. I just get a little bit here on my brush. And for my contour, I like to put it pretty high up. I feel like it just gives me more of like a snatched look. And with my makeup, especially with powder, I like to really just pat it on there. I don't like to rub it a lot, just, you know, light. Padding. Next, I'm going to bronze my forehead. I feel so old when I say bronze or bronzer instead of contour because that's what it was before like YouTube tutorials were a thing. It was bronzer, okay? So that's, you know, it's 
where we're at with it. And then lastly, for a little bit of eye contour, I like to put this on my eyelids. It acts as an eyeshadow, but it just gives me a little bit more dimension because I put the concealer there. I'm just kind of like winging it out a little bit. Okay, in full transparency, I do not always use face powder. I like my face to look kind of dewy. As I mentioned before, I do get a lot of creasing in the eye area. So I'm gonna put just a little bit under my eyes. The powder I will be using is the Too Faced Born This Way. And this is in, it doesn't have a color, it's just an ethereal setting powder. It's translucent, it doesn't really have a color to it. I just take a little bit in the cover. I need to use a separate beauty sponge for this. This is the Real Techniques powder blender, powder sponge. I keep wanting to say beauty blender, but obviously it's a different brand. I just dip the point right here and I'm gonna put just a little bit. I'm gonna use my close up mirror so we don't mess this up. It does make a difference. What do you guys think? Powder or no powder, which looks better? Okay, I'm gonna do the second eye. And then I'm just putting a little bit on the sides of my nose to give me some contour. I'm also going to put a little bit of powder in the middle of my eyebrows. I'm just gonna put a little bit there and then I'll just kind of blend this in so everything kind of settles together. Whatever's left over on my brush, I'm just going to kind of pat that in to the other areas of my face. Next step is going to be blush. This is one of my favorite steps when I'm doing my makeup because, you know, the base looks great, but this is just going to bring some that pop, some color back into your face. So I use this one here. It's by NARS and this is in Super Orgasm. So for my blush, I just put a little bit here on the apples of my cheek and then just blend it up. I also like to put some blush on my nose as well. So I you know, imagine you're like out all day in the sun and then your face just looks sun-kissed. I love that look. So that's why I try to replicate it by putting a little bit of blush on my nose. I also take a little bit of blush and put it on my eyelids. Again, this is to bring color back into our face. I'm using the same brush. This is the e.l.f. blush brush. What's the good in having products and makeup tools if you can't? They don't have a multi-purpose use, you know? Okay, next I'm going to do my eyebrows. Um, to be fair, I haven't been filling them in as much as I used to. As you guys saw in my last video, I do laminate my brows. So just pretty straight, I like the shape of them. Sometimes when I feel like I need an extra fill-in, I will use this product here. This is the eyeliner pen by Essence. And it has like a felt tip and then you can just drawn like that but today i'm just gonna do my usual just take some clear brow gel this one is also by the essence brand it's lash and brow gel mascara so i just take a little bit of this and brush them straight up i kind of like brush them like that because they do tend to like gravity just takes a toll they tend to fall a little bit so I give them a little head start. I'm gonna put a little bit of highlighter on. I don't always do this step, but today, why not, honey? We are going all out. So this is the Maybelline New York Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter, and it is in color 100 Molten Gold. Looks like this. Very pretty, very shimmery. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this. This is on, I think this is an e.l.f. brush. It came in like a travel pack. I put a little bit here on my brow bone. With highlighter, you want to put it anywhere that the sun naturally hits you. So all the high points of your face, brow bone, a little bit down the nose, a little bit here, and a little bit on the upper cheekbones. And then I'm just gonna like kind of connect them here. Okay, next step, I'm going to do my mascara. I have so much fun every time I do a mascara because it just brings the look, it brings everything all together. So I use the Great Lash by Maybelline. I have used this since high school. I try other ones, but I always come back to her. Let me get up close for this. So first step, I just do my first coat. I kind of like hold it to my eye and then blink down. Just makes it a little bit easier. 
I'm also going to do the bottom a little bit. See, I was telling you guys about that creasing. Ugh, what can we do, right? So bottom, you just wanna be careful. I kinda like squint and give it like a little shimmy. Let's just take a second. Let's just look. Mascara, no mascara. Mascara, no mascara. It just, it just brings everything together. I love it. So let me go ahead and do this eye. Something I also like to do, you see the wand has its own natural curve. So it, get, it goes from bigger to smaller and then it curves this way. When I'm on the opposite eye, I like to use it in that exact same way so that the bigger end is on the longer end of, ends of my lashes. I'm gonna do another second coat and then just a little floofing of them all. We're just going to open wide, get this all the way at the base and then just pull it down. And then while it's closed, floof, 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 floof. And then sometimes, you know, lashes will cling together. I go in like vertically and just separate them a little bit. All right, so lashes are done. I'm going to take a Q-tip now and just clean up all those areas that I got mascara on my lid. And then just wipe off any areas. Now, I don't know if you can tell this if it's coming up on camera, but like this eye is a little bit darker than this eye. because so I kind of got some mascara underneath my lid. So I'm gonna clean it up. This is my technique on how I do that. Take a little bit of concealer, dab it on the back of my hand, take my flat brush and just kind of coat this. So I have some on the brush. And I gotta get up close for this. I will try to show you as best as I can. But I just like to go really close, really close to the lash line and just put some concealer there. And the trick to not get it on the lashes is just use, use the same side, you know? So it's going underneath and there's nothing on top to really touch the lash hair. All right, and just in case I got any on the, on the lashes, I'm gonna put just a little coat little coat there a little coat okay i really want to fix my hair before i get to this last part because my curls completely fell so i'll be right back okay we're back i'm kind of looking like um a jetson right now remember the jetsons i mean if you don't remember the jetsons you're too young i'm too young i never anyway 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 okay so last step will be lips i vary between two different looks so sometimes i'll just do an all nude liner with some gloss and then just call it a day other days i will do a darker lip liner around the edge and do gloss on top i think today i'm gonna do a, probably like a, i'll do a little bit of both so here i have the covergirl easy breezy brow fill and define pencil so obviously it says it's a brow pencil but girl you do with it what you want okay so i start at the edge i stay pretty close to my own natural lip line here and then on the bottom i go a little bit under my lip just a little bit under trick is here i always connect the two tops of my lip and i'm going to take this color right here this is a nude color that pretty much matches my natural lip color. This is the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner and the color is Bare, yeah, Bare. So I just take the pencil here and I'm just gonna fill it in a little bit. Same up top. And I think, truly, I went a little bit higher than I would with the outline, so I'm just gonna wipe away some of it on top. And there we go. Now to blend everything together, I'm just gonna put on some lip gloss on top of this. This is the, this is the nameless brand because the label rubbed off, but I got this from Ulta. I believe it's also by the Essence brand. I just take a little bit of gloss, put it in the middle mostly. And then I just use this, the tip to blend everything together. That brings us to the end of the video. I will have everything that I used today linked in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed. If you found this video helpful, give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video.